a lot of people have said a lot of things about a lot of cameras. Um, but lately, particularly, it seems like a lot is being said about the Sony A9. But while I've never been a, a Sony shooter per se, I haven't shot a lot of Sony, the A9 is a really hard one to ignore. And since we've been playing with the A9 a lot lately, some people have asked in the comments almost worriedly if we're switching to Sony. Look guys, we're photographers. We're not Fuji photographers, we're not Canon photographers. We don't need to put a brand name in our title. A company is just an unfeeling of mass of dollar bills, executives and board meetings. We don't have to give them our spiritual devotion. I just want to make great photos and video and whatever tools help me do that, well that's what I'm going to use. Having said that, no I don't have plans to switch away from the X-T2 as some have been concerned about. I just like playing with toys and A9 is a fun toy. <laughs> So this time I'm only bringing along one camera, the Sony A9 and one lens, the 35mm 1.4 Distagon for both vlogging and stills. I really want to see how this A9 does as a hybrid camera, moving back and forth between stills and video for some street vlogging and photography. This is not going to be a full review of the A9 or the Distagon. There's plenty of places you can go for full reviews if my news feed is to be believed. I mean, I haven't really watched any of them. but. My goals today are much more modest. Really, I just want to see how this thing does as a hybrid shooter, like I said, and uh, get some great photos and just get some shutter time in with it. So, hope you enjoy it. So we're moving down Capitol Hill, away from the Capitol building, down towards downtown. I just talked to, there's like all this stuff going on. I had no idea, but I guess Tor, Tor de Utah is coming through here. So, and that's supposed to happen soon, but uh, not soon enough for me. I mean, it's cool racing and stuff, but. designer by trade. I design user experience stuff, so software. And one thing I've, I've never understood about cameras, particularly the Sony, Canon actually, they're the worst violator, is the obscure words and titles they come up with their interfaces. But the reason I bring it up is because I was looking for how to turn off the sound on this A9, looking for a silent shutter or sounds or shutter sound. No, it turns out after having to Google it that it's uh, audio signals. So Sony or Canon or whoever wants to get better at using the terms that your users expect to look for, the easy way to do that is just by asking. I bet they'll say something like silent shutter, but I could be wrong. One thing I've really been loving is I kind of go back and forth between um, wide and quick photos of people walking by versus more controlled, 
um, isolated subject, steady shots. I love that I can be in zone focus, but I can tap the screen to get a point selection um, and then go tap it again and go back to zone. That's so cool. Well, it's about time to head, but um, I think I got some good quality shutter time in with the A9. Had some fun, hopefully got some photos that I'll keep. But before I do, I wanna give you some initial impressions. Some final thoughts on this vlog, but some initial impressions on the A9. What you have to say about the A9 is that it, um, it really doesn't lack much of anything. If you look at every camera that you love and why you love it, Let's take uh, the Canon series for its color and autofocus. If you take all of the best Sony cameras up until this point, the battery life of DSLRs in general, if you take the great video out of Panasonic, if you take some of the experience you have, um, the user experience out of some of the other cameras, well, still not Fuji, it, it gets all of that right. It does a great job all around. Um, there's not a whole lot of negative to say about it and it's a very impressive piece of equipment. Will I be getting one? You know, maybe not partially because of the price point, but even more than that, it's just because it doesn't replace the experience of shooting on a Fuji for me. Um, and I don't need the power that it brings in so many other ways. But um, would I recommend it to anyone for just about anything? Yeah, absolutely, it's, it's amazing. So, great camera. That's all for now. Bye-bye.